hello all. We are uh, going to play some Russian Attack tonight. Going to kind of make sure everything is coming through the stream as uh, as intended before we get started here. This has been requested to us by one of our Patreons, uh, of course, Casamani Ryan. Just checking to make sure my microphone audio is coming through. All right, looks like we are good to go. We will bring uh, everything up here in just a second. So, hello, everybody. Uh, this is Russian Attack for the NES. The way we are playing this is we are using a Hyperkin Wireless, uh, I think this is the Cadet Controller, going through our HDMI-modded Top Loader NES, playing through a, uh, a Marseille um, HDMI cable. Uh, you down, uh, do I own bad dudes? I do own bad dudes. So Cinnabon Bunny was first in the house with a high. Uh, DOA thought he was first. Cinnabon got in on top of him. Easy. Um, not Ryan Johnson. Never first, but here anyways. Thank you for coming by. How do you rock solid life with Matthew? I tried to email you. Wanted to find out uh, if we were streaming tonight. And, well, didn't get a response for him. Yeah, so we're going to play some Russian attack for a little bit. So... I have never played this game before. I'm going to see if the Konami code works. So up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start, anything? My mission, destroy the enemy's secret weapon. Good luck. Midwest Media, hey, Dan, how you doing? Yeah, I was really hurting on Sunday. Sci-Fi Nation, greetings, Sci-Fi, uh, greetings, uh, rocks on fellow nerds. I got to see that played. Oh, I guess I need to watch what's going on on screen versus just the chat. So I've got just a uh, a knife to start with. So you press up to jump. I hate games that do that. Unless it's a fighting game. Kind of wish Alexander was here with the, uh, you know, rush in stuff on here because Asian Muslim life is his favorite. Trek95 says hello. Hello to Trek95. We keep an eye on chat as we go along. So interesting. I can jump on the ladders as I'm going along. Ooh. Evening Wesley Crusher says greetings gamers. Wow. Yeah, I am not liking the press up to jump. I wish there was a way to remap that to one of the buttons. I'm also not digging just having a, a knife for a weapon. Carter, welcome. I don't know that I've seen you here in the chat before. Welcome, my friend. Okay, so I have to jump over these mines, pressing up an angle on the D-pad to make it work. Got through there. And then don't forget, as always, we do have our Super Chat rewards down below if you guys are looking to... Uh, for the list, I've got those right there. Oh, that dude came jumping right at me. What a dick. Oh. Edgar, how you doing? I am feeling better. I was down and out for a couple of days. Uh, we all pretty much were. So, the enemy can walk right over the mines, no issue whatsoever. But I even think about touching them, and I die. I like with Matthew, if you're stuck for it, uh, no, I, pretty much I needed to be done stream about 7 o'clock. I have to actually go get my daughter from, uh, the grandparents here in a minute. Uh, at least when this stream is over, so I'm gonna stream till about 7 o'clock, top of the hour here, uh, with this before I go pick her up. Gotta say, the controls are terrible on this game. I should have known, being a Castlevania Ryan 
suggestion, he wanted me to suffer. Nintendo cheats worse than Bird. Um, that's a lot of cheating. So let's see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Be a start. See if it did anything there. Let me know, too, in the chat if we need to adjust any of the, the volumes or anything, too. We'll uh, make adjustments as we need to. Wow, that sucked! Um, I have to say, I do like the fact that you can actually jump onto the ladder, but the D-pad just doesn't... Yeah, it is not a, a good unit for jumping with. Being a Konami game, I figured, you know, NES era, this would be pretty decent. There we go. I needed to kill that guy earlier on. Oh, that's it? You get, like, four shots? That's terrible. Sounds 25 here. Gaming off the grid, how you doing? Okay, guys, let me know. What am I missing here? Because so far, this game is terrible, I think. Is there a way to remap jump to another button instead of being up? Because that's that just sucks. If you guys have not done so yet, make sure you subscribe to the Midwest Media Show and Gaming Off the Grid. Two great retro channels. Dan with the Midwest Media Show just getting started. Off the Grid named the 2019 YouTubers of the Year. I think it was rigged myself. That's the Edgar. Oh, Russian Attack on the NES. That game is goddamn hard. Me, personally, I play Code Named Viper by Capcom. Also for the NES, which I really like that game. Uh, Gaming Off the Grid says it's a bit clunky for sure. Mega Band 29 is here. The biggest fan of Hacksaw Jim Duggan you've ever seen, tough guy. Ho! So, I mean, I understand having to kill the enemy to get the weapons, but at the same time, there's such limited ammo, it really kind of sucks. Retro Stars in the house, how you doing? Zero Agent 9 says, my patience, or patience, I will persevere. Music is pretty good, I gotta say that, and... Ah! Oh, I can't believe that I jumped over that dude. How did I not die? Is that a rocket in the background, or are you happy to see me? I'm just afraid every time that dude jumps at me that I'm gonna get hit and die. Okay, that's gotta be a boss. Oh, that's cool that the one shot goes through them all. Let's see, Mega Band says that Castlevania Games has wanted me to play this. Where is he at? I don't know. But we've gotten past the first stage. And I suck. It's Mega Band, not Mega Dan. Come on. Let's see, Chuck Food reviews and more. Hey! First time I think I've seen you here, or at least in a while. Welcome. I I don't know what Capcom was or Konami was thinking with like these mustard turd brown colors. Bird of Prey 5 is in the house. Says Kapla, Kapla, Bird of Prey 5. You guys are looking for a great kind of preview to get you ready for Star Trek Picard. He has got. Whoa, you asshole. Uh, not you, Bird, for once. I'm not calling you a... Uh, the guy in the uh, tower. I'm just calling him an asshole. Um, he has got a really good video talking about uh, Picard coming up, and he throws two bucks in the Super Chat. Go ahead and pick a number, 1 through 11, Bird, for uh, your Super Chat reward, my friend. 
Let's see, Jeff Palm says, oh, that sound is coming from that game. Yes, it is. Sci-Fi Nation says, hail Kuroga. By the way, Gary, I was playing a game that I never knew before. G.I. Joe, the American hero for the NES. And it is really good. Uh, I know E.C. Myers Vids has done quite a few playthroughs on that. There's the super chat from Bird of Prey 5. So go ahead and throw a number 1 through 11 if you want to see the list. It is down in the more info section so you can select your reward du jour. Oh, you sucker. Sniper, you stop by to... Tell us to have a good stream. Thanks for stopping by, man. See, not only playing halfway decent in the game, but keeping up with chat. Got 18 people watching right now, too. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Oh! How did I not die there? That was a death looking for a place to happen. Oh, that was the cheapest of cheap shots. What is the chances the Picard is good? Um, you know, Dan, I am not dismissing it out of hand. It can't be as bad as Discovery. Let's just say that first and foremost. It just can't be. Um, I think it'll be okay. I don't think it'll be great. And I think if you're expecting like season seven of or actually season eight of tng let's call it you're going to be disappointed uh kind of like i'm disappointed that i'm all the way back at the very start of this game that there's no freaking continues like with matthew have you done any net play stuff playing these games i have not how uh, sci-fi how am i cheating i do not cheat worse than bird there is no worse cheat oh damn it Worse cheater than bird. Caleb is in the house. How you doing, my friend? Now, for any of you who have been kind of on the fence for one of the M cables or the M classics, I am playing this through my HDMI modded NES top loader using... A, my M cable, and I think this looks really, really sharp. I'm digging the uh, the visuals. I still want to know how I managed to get over that dude and not die. Oh, you son of a bitch! Uh, reminds you of a little bit of the coin up rush. I think it's based on the same game, Bird. Um, it was called, I want to say in Japan, it was called Green Beret. But since this is mid 80s, wow, well, I think we're going to just die here in a second so we can start fresh. Like, we're just going to run into that dude. Uh, Edgar, the other game that I played last week was Twin Bee. I have Twin Bee, uh, it's a good game. Uh, and he got it for a super cheap price because he was curious since he already played Parodius. How did you like Parodius? I have played it like 10, 15 minutes of it since I got it from Portland. Uh, just been busy with other stuff. Uh, but what I've played of it, I really, really like. So, uh, but getting back, Dan, you were asking about Picard. I... Here's the thing, is you do have the same showrunners on Picard that you have on um, Discovery. Which means that they have no writing skill, they are political hacks, and everything's got to have a social agenda. So there is that. You have to also realize, too, that the game plan that they've at least talked about so far is that Picard is going to be Brexit slash Orange Man bad in space. Now, you can like Trump, you can hate Trump, I don't care. Um, I didn't vote for him, but there was no way in hell I was voting for Hillary. Um, but, you know, people turn to entertainment for an escape from every day, um, and I think that's one of the things that has really hurt the, the latest Star Wars movies, was the fact that, um, oh, if you shoot them with that, you don't get the weapon? That sucks. Um, you know, I... I I think people are, are getting so hung up on politics now 
that even though I don't know how genuine Ricky Gervais was being at the Golden Globes, I think that's how most people are feeling now. Of just, you know, get your award, thank your agent, thank your God, and F off and get out of here. So, uh, let's see. Twin B is awesome according to Gaming Off The Grid. I actually agree with that. What size and type of TV am I using? I am using a 2015 Samsung 65-inch 4K. Uh, Ryan, you should try Pop, uh, Pop and Twin B for the Super Famicom. I'll check it out. Uh, hate how they mess with the tr timeline in Star Trek. I do too. I am not a fan of multiverses. Uh, Sci-Fi Nation with a $2 super chat. Uh, first ever super chat to me, Fuzzy Bunnies number 10. And Bird, I still owe you a super chat. And for those of you who not familiar with super chat rewards, well, hold on here. You requested number 10. I thought number two for a second. So this, when you donate any amount, you get a Super Chat reward. Did you ever find Bugs Bunny attractive when he'd put on a dress and play a girl bunny? No. <laughs> no. Neither did I. I was just asking. Uh, tell me about the fuzzy bunnies, George. Uh, oh my God, that blue helicopter before remind me of Choplifter. Is that it is still around, and actually Bird uh, in television is still around, and they are coming out with a new console later this year called the Amica, and I believe Choplifter is one of the launch titles for it. Uh, yeah, I really like Proteus because it is Gradius in disguise. I know it is hard, but I like it. Yeah, it is. If you like, ah, damn it. If you like Gradius, you'll love Proteus. Um, yeah, and, and Dan, where I was going before, Sci-Fi so rudely decided to donate. And again, Bird, you still have a Super Chat floating around there, so let me know, man. Um, I was never a fan of JJ Trek because of what they did to the timeline. I'm not a multiverse fan. That's one of the reasons that I didn't care for Endgame as much as other people did. Um, I think multiverses and time travel are an excuse, by and large, for... Uh, uh, lazy story writing? Son of a... Anyways, um... Oh, I just realized, too, every time you die, it pushes you back further on the level. That sucks! That's something a Krogan dictator would make you do. Um... So, I didn't like the fact that in J.J. Trek, they basically took 60 years of canon, flushed it down the toilet, and said, Nah, we don't need to worry about that. We've got something better. Um, and I mean that that created a lot of the issues that we've had with Discovery and with Picard even uh, before the CBS Viacom remerger. Um, you know, I, I think they'll have a lot more latitude now moving forward that everybody's all under one ownership group. Uh, they'll have latitude to use things without having to quote unquote license them. Um, how you have to license something that you own, I never understood. Uh, this game is freaking hard! This is ridiculous how hard this is! So this is our last run-through of it tonight here. Uh, like I said, I've got to go pick up the baby. Um, so I think we're going to do kind of a, um, kind of like what we did with Rise of Skywalker, where we do a post-mortem after I watch, uh, Picard Thursday evening, um, just to kind of discuss my feelings. I've heard quite a few things about it. Um, one of the things that I have heard is that the first three episodes take place entirely on Earth. If the stories are good, I don't care. That's fine. Um, some of the best... Trek episodes ever took place uh, not on a starship. Uh, in fact, an entire series, or at least the first few seasons, took place not on a starship called Deep Space Nine, and it was the best series of all Star Trek. Um, clearly better than a show that had terrible acting and um stories called the original series shots fired
Okay, so the key to those guys is to jump. Or just shoot like that and kill them all at once. 22 people watching. Thanks, everybody, for coming by tonight. Uh, we've only got a couple more minutes on this stream before uh, we are calling it quits for tonight. But we'll be streaming again soon, hopefully. Make sure, too, you guys and gals out there are still subscribed. Hit that thumbs up button, that bell notification, all that happy fun stuff, too. We did post our review today of the Hyperkin Admiral N64 controller. And, man, that analog stick left a little bit to be desired. I gotta say, that's super comfortable. Though. Okay, so I think I've got those gold and black guys figured out. Jump at them when they... Whoa! You did not shoot that stuff at me! Oh, damn it! I jumped right on the gold dude. So, uh, Dan, did I answer your question? I think, I think we have reasons to be concerned about Picard. But at the same time, I think that it could be better than, than what we've been used to. But I would also say expectations are pretty low. Oh, I was hitting... I was hitting B! You son of a buck. I just got a message here, too, from the one and only Mr. Maynard, wondering if I'm heading to the Mo Game Con Jr. next weekend. I think I should be able to head down there for a little bit. Yep, just jump at that dude, hit him with the nightstick, and then get shot in the back. Awesome. Hey, Ryan, um, I hope you see this, man, because this is all your fault. Although I do have to say, this is probably better than Rastan, Rygar, or uh, Demon Sword. I'm going to pause this for a second, because I am not seeing the chat move. Uh, so if anyone sent anything through chat i wasn't seeing anything oh thomas with a deer pop number 11 um yeah i missed a bunch of chat i don't know what happened there where it froze uh so bird says first of all my choice uh let's go through because again we missed some chats for some reason it froze on my end uh caleb superboy looks nice but i still disagree with his existence i get that uh, Bird says, my choice. Oh, my God, Gary, it starts to remind me of the stream of Rygar, which is another brutally hard game. Yes, Sci-Fi Nation, at least they told us from the get-go that JJ Checks were in an alternate timeline. They did. They. I, I will give you that, Sci-Fi. Piano Dean is here. I remember Choplifter. Uh, let's see. Caleb saying hi to Bird of Prey. Piano Dean rub, loved Robotron. Uh, Midwest Media Show loves DS9. Best ever Trek. Enterprise was the best. TOS, second best? Uh, no, Enterprise was not as bad as it got dumped on for, though. Uh, Enterprise was good. It was cool seeing the early days of Starfleet. You did not see the early days of Starfleet. You saw the early days of the United Earth. Uh, well, I guess it was Starfleet. It wasn't the Federation. That's what it was. Uh, Piano Dean fell asleep watching DS9. Edgar, a game that really suffers a lot of, uh, a lot play is Bionic Combano arcade version. The game is just a quarter muncher. Yep. P uh, Sci-Fi says, I tend to ignore all the pre-release hype and rumors. I'll decide how I feel. After watching Picard, that's the best way to do it. Piano Dean, it's still on BBC America. Edgar, I think, uh, thank goodness, there is the awesome NES version of Bionic Combando, and it is a great, uh, great, great game. Uh, Bird says, believes that they've been doing every episode in order of DS9. Wesley requests number 11. Zero 09 Agent, can't believe you didn't like Rygar. It's a classic. Yeah, it's okay. So number 11 from Thomas Potts. Oh, yeah, this one. Hello, Sonic. I changed my ways, and to celebrate, drink this punch. Wait! Drink it, or I'll revert your movie design back to the original. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ha 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 ha! You fool! You should have known that this punch is spiked! Ha 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 ha! It's the police snooping as usual. Dr. Ivo Robotnik, you're under arrest for corrupting a minor. How have I done that? That blue creature is only 15 to 16 years old. You shouldn't be giving them alcohol. No, no, spiked is wordplay for- You have the right to remain silent, Doctor. And since uh, Bird said my choice, this is my personal favorite. At least right now, this is my favorite. The line has to be drawn here. This far and no further. Gotta love Quark. Who doesn't love Quark? Uh, let's see here. Um, Trek 95 TOS is, of course, the bestest ever. Uh, wrong. Uh, so we've got about three or four more minutes here. I saw Castlemania Ryan post on Twitter that he is also under the weather. I hope he doesn't have what we've been fighting here. And I don't mean Russians! I can't believe I didn't die there. I should have been dead by any... Son of a bitch! You can only avoid death for so long, and then you give him the Melvin. Alright, Edgar is off heading back to work. We're gonna be calling it quits here in a couple minutes here as well. And I think with that, we are gonna be calling it quits. That is gonna be it for tonight, so... Uh, just wanted to do a little bit of gameplay. Um, I know I haven't done as much streaming as I've wanted to lately. Uh, I'm sorry, Ryan, you didn't make it. Uh, but hopefully we'll be streaming this again soon. This, unlike Rygar... Okay, I could see myself playing this a little bit more. Bird, you don't remember him saying that? I will have to look up the episode. Um, I want to say it was the episode where the Nagus was going to give women rights to vote and everything. Um, give me a second, I'll actually Google it. The line must be drawn here. What episode is that from? I think that's in like the third or fourth season. Uh, it is from the episode, The Dogs of War. So, um, okay, let's go into IMDB real quick here. We'll give you the details before we head. And because I'm streaming as well, it's gonna take forever to load the page. Uh, it was from 1999, so whatever season that was. Um, so, yeah, well, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit. We'll be doing some more, uh, uh, it is the Dogs of War. So what, uh, so if it was 99, was that season five? So, Anyways, guys, I've got to go get uh, the Rugrat, and maybe if she cooperates and goes down, or I might even bring her up here for a little bit in her bouncer, and we might play a little bit later on, too. We might even fire up some Use Your Words. So uh, thank you all, and until next time. Well, we are checked out. Gone.